A lot of people think that T-Rexes had really bad vision because of movies like Jurassic Park. And while there's some truth to what was in Jurassic Park, scientists are actually confident that these monsters had incredible vision. I'll break down how T-Rexes likely saw the world, their visual superpowers, and also their weird visual disadvantage. But first of all, how the heck do we know how the eyes of dinosaurs that went extinct 66 million years ago worked? In 1993, funnily enough the same year that Jurassic Park came out, researchers from the University of Oregon created 3D models of different dinosaurs based on scans of all of the fossil evidence we found. They created models of their eyes that approximated how their eyes most likely worked based on their skeletons and details from the dinosaurs' known relatives that are alive now. For our favorite short-armed king of the dinos, these were crocodiles, ostriches, and eagles. Birds and crocodiles are on different ends of the evolution stemming from dinosaurs, T-Rex in particular. So this study ended up showing that T-Rexes probably had amazing vision. Their visual acuity, or resolution, is estimated to be almost two times better than current birds of prey like falcons, and up to 13 times better than humans. So the average human's visual acuity is 2020 using the American system for visual acuity, and that is 66 using the European system. If you have 2040 vision, then you probably need glasses because from 20 feet away from something, you see the level of detail that the average person would see from 40 feet away. So things are basically twice as blurry. A T-Rex would have 21.5 vision, meaning that from 20 feet away from something, they see the level of detail that the average person would see if they were one and a half feet away from that thing. It's estimated that they could spot objects from 3.7 miles or six kilometers away from them. Their skulls suggest that they had big optical lobes in their brains, and that's the part of the brain responsible for processing visual information. Larger optic lobes are often correlated with better vision. They also had big eyes for their skull size, with eyes the size of grapefruits. Big eyes often allow for better light gathering and therefore better night vision, but no fossilized T. rex retinas have been found, so we can't confirm exactly how good their night vision was. Their skull shape allowed for a good line of sight over a wide field of view of about 200 degrees, and they actually wouldn't have a blind spot in front of them caused by their big ol' snouts. Horses have a blind spot right in front of them because of their long faces, but T. rexes would avoid this kind of thing. T. rexes binocular field of view which is where each eye's vision overlaps and they'd have good depth perception, was wider than that of a hawk. From studying current animals that are genetically related to T-Rexes, scientists think that they should have had good color vision, likely having one more type of comb or color detecting cell compared to us that would let them see ultraviolet light that's invisible to humans. This would let them see patterns on plants and animals that are invisible to us. But Jurassic Park's big claim was that if you stay super still, a T-Rex can't see you. Even though T-Rexes had amazing eyesight, that part's probably true. The strange way of processing what your eyes see is more common than you might think, especially in predators. Like, lions are great at detecting motion, but they struggle to see things that aren't moving. So prey might escape with their lives if they stay really still and the lion's sense of smell doesn't lead it right to them. T-Rex's brains likely work this way too, specifically focusing on detecting motion, while stationary things are assumed to be the background environment. They don't really pay as much attention to that. The benefits of this are that they're terrifyingly good at detecting motion, which is great for hunting, but if the prey is smart and stays super still, they just might escape. 